Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Blacksmith Legends. New game just came out in Early Access. It is an RPG uh, strategy management game, according to their own Steam description. So basically, you know, you run a blacksmith shop, you make items, you sell them. There's also like a town management aspect. There is a combat. So we are obviously going to be Luchara. So can we change the difficulty? Does not appear that we can change the difficulty. Character few different ones yeah there's just a few that's fine I mean it's early access choose our flag so we got shape there is four shapes let's go with that one coat of arms probably quite a few coat of arms just find one that we're okay with that one's fine with me pattern yeah let's do that detail oh oh wow some of these are a lot Ooh, I like that one. I'm a, I like this. This is fine with me. So back. Um, yeah, so we got everything. It does not let us change the difficulty. So let's start it up. Let's fire it up. So episode one, prologue. We have Murstone. It's a village with 56 inhabitants. Six employee slots, no profession fee. Start here or no thank you. Will it let me start somewhere else? Probably not, right? No, it won't. What's going on over here? Something. There's something going on over there. All right, Merstone it is. Dearest child, on the verge of my end, I can't fulfill my duties as thy blacksmith anymore. If only I had I more time to teach you. From mine and mother's heart, we leave you all this land is the only thing left. If this your dream shall not be, please take care and try to survive. It is my dream. Don't worry about it, parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Hello, Wachera. Welcome to Murstone Village. My name is Lucy. Hi, Lucy. And I'll be your guide. To move around, hold and drag the middle mouse button. Or zoom in and out, scroll the mouse wheel. Let's start off by building your own workshop. Click on the build icon right here. Or press B. All right, left click at any floor item and place the tile on the marker. Okay, so we could do rock, we can do wood, which is non-flammable wood, apparently. Or brick. Let's try rock floor. So it wants us to do a five by five room, which is this whole thing. So I can can I hold? Yes. You you do need to be fairly precise though, it, it appears. Yeah, like it didn't want to let me put there. There we go. There we go. Oh, this floor almost looks too clean. You know what I mean? For a blacksmith shop? Maybe that's just me. All right, when finished, press right click to stop item placement and move on to the walls. All right, let's go stone wall, wood wall, non flammable wood, of course, but we'll go stone here. So each of these cubes is a potential wall placement. Let's go here. Let's get this outer wall. Yeah, it's. it's you got to be precise with these walls. Or maybe I'm just bad at it. That is possible. Can we rotate? Yes. There we go. Oh, this one seems a little easier. Did I leave a, like a doorway to the road? What about my yard? Do I need a doorway to my yard? I don't know. Do I need it for anything? All right, when you're finished with walls, feel free to move on. Place a furnace by the wall. Go to blacksmith room menu part. All right, we have a furnace. Um, now let's place it on this wall, this wall, this wall. Right by the door. No, let's place it over here. I have no idea if the placement really matters. To dismiss an item that has already been placed, left click on it like you did when placing it, and then right click to dismiss. Okay, money and item will be returned. All right. So we know how to do that. Finally, place your character with the anvil. What is this? A wall flag. Yes, we want a wall flag. We, we, I mean, we took all that time to make it. We muzzle well hang it up, right? All right, there we go. Good job, blacksmith. Now that we've set up our working place, it's time to craft. Click the back arrow or press B to exit the build mode. Let's start off by making your skills better. Click on your blacksmith and craft five hammers so you reach next level. Left click on the hammer and it will start automatically. 
Okay, so... Hammer. So she wanted me to make five of them, but I can only queue up four at a time. So there's one. So that's all five queued up. So I work from seven till seven. Oh, wow, that's a long day. <laughs> and it looks like, um, what is this stat? Crafting quality, working speed, morale. So I'm at a nice 102% morale right now. Which is good, right? So if I close this, does he keep crafting? He does. Okay, good. Good to know. All right, there we go. Hey, Luchara, keep it up. Here are some materials I found in my attic. <laughs> Let's craft some stuff, and I'll bring it to the to people around. Okay, so we got plus two gold, plus one paint. I'm famous. I'm famous, Ma. Since we already crafted some hammers, finish the order by making two wheels. So they wanted two hammers and two wheels. Quests will then complete automatically. So two wheels. One and two. Game paused. Oh, press two, three, or four to continue. Did I pause it? I can pause with spacebar. Alright, what do we got here? As the night comes, your character goes to sleep. Alright, because it's 7 o'clock. Goes to sleep and comes fresh in the morning. Day always starts at 7 a.m., so you can check production by clicking on Anvil or toggle skipping all nights by pressing skip button at the top menu right here. Okay. Yeah, so we don't skip. Oh yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you skip? You want to skip, you want to toggle, toggle skipping night on. Time is skipped only when all employees sleep. Yes. All right, so, okay. It's almost, so I guess I can hit four to speed it up. Get back to seven. All right, there we go. Let's slow it back down again. We're here, we're making wheels. Doing the quest. Not sure who the quest is for. All right, so quest finished. We got some fame. We got some coins. What's up, Rupert? Well met, neighbor. My name's Rupert. Wanted to ask you a favor. Just need some tools to finish my fence down in the south. If you help me, I'll spread the word of your skills. What do you say? So he wants three hammers, which I have. Four wheels, which I can make. He will give me a new tongs recipe. Plus my fame, plus two gold. Sure, Rupert. You're on. By the way, you can control time by hotkeys 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1 is pause. Yes, 1 is pause. You can also hit spacebar for pause, which is cool that there's options. So I need 4 wheels. So wheels take, looks like 2 lumber, 2 wood. And hammers use 1 stone and 1 wood. Not sure what these other symbols mean. Like the green and red symbols there. For menu, there is the escape key. Okay, resume, save, load. Good luck on your journey. That's it. That's the that's the whole tutorial, huh? All right. Oh, well, what's Greg want? Ooh wee, mate. Name's Greg. Your neighbor with those cute pigs right over here, I guess. My cart needs a fixing and stuff. Think you can help a neighbor out? I've got gold and a nifty trick my pappy left me. Do this for me, and I'll tell everyone how great you are. Oink, oink. So he wants three wheels, two tongs, two hammers. Give me a horseshoe recipe. Nice. 50% chance to sell for double value. That works for me. All right, so do we finish the other quest? Yes, we must have because we got the tongs. So how do we buy materials? What happens if I run out of materials? So two of these... Two of these. Cracks are minor defects during your production that cause quality decrease of your product being crafted. Nothing too serious. You can prevent them by keeping your morale above 90%. Okay. We're over we're at 106 morale, so that's good. Time is it? Oh, it's almost it's almost quitting time. Well, we got three hours left, I guess. Alright, so we need three wheels as well. For old Greg here. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we need one more wheel queued up. All right, and there. So that's everything we need, but it's, you know, it's five in the morning, so we're not really making anything right now. We're having a little snoozle. 
So what is the yellow bar? Is that my morale, maybe? Probably. So I'd like to get this working speed up. Wonder if there's like a, uh, a skill tree. Probably is. All right, so what is this? That's my inventory. Items. Equipment. Consumables. Oh, I'm surprised it doesn't show. Oh, up here, I guess. So we got seven iron ore, eight wood. We have no coal. We have no steel. We have no silver. No gold. And no adamantium. Which makes sense, I guess. All right, so do we finish that quest? No. So hit Q to bring it back up. Okay. So we're working on the last wheel there now. Beautiful. Oh, we got a new quest. Liam. Greetings, friend. I'm Liam, head of the local miners guild. A bunch of our carts broke down. I thought you might help us out. Don't worry. I brought some materials with me and some gold too. Let's see how handy you are. Ooh, bellows. Overview shows every item that we can craft. You can see it's quantity in our inventory. For detailed lists, click on each sections above to display specific items. You can view info about every item you craft by hovering over it. After finishing prologue, you can hire overseer to unlock additional features. Okay. So bellows increases working speed by 5%. Nice. It's a furnace extension. Beautiful. So does he give us a bellows or just make it so that we can make a bellows? I'm not sure. We will find out. <laughs> All right, so I guess we can speed time up here. Oh, wait, I thought it said, didn't it say I wouldn't have cracks as long as I was above 90% morale? Well, I just had a crack. So how do we look at these quality wise? Tongs, 50%. 38%. So it sells for more if it's higher quality. The fact that we're only making 50% quality is disappointing. <laughs> I want to make high quality goods for the folks. What it is, what it is. All right, so let's slow down time again. So I, another crack. Oh, I'm barely over 90, so I guess that makes sense somewhat. Uh, what do I need again? Three more, two more wheels. There we go. We are sleepy time. Thought I told it to skip nights. It's not really skipping nights. Ah, that old bragger Greg. He promised me a pair of nice horseshoes, but he never made them. Hmm. Be good chap, won't you? And make a neighbor a set of horseshoes and some tongs. I'll tell everyone what a big heart you have. Quench barrels. Increases crafting quality. All right, let's pause the game here. For starter, we'll need 10 iron ore. So click the button on the right side of screen to open mines menu. Under iron mine, mines menu is E, okay. Under iron mine, click plus 10 times until you get, until you get 10 per hour. Okay. So it costs me one gold per hour. Per hour, that seems like a lot. All right, now that we have enough iron waiting at the mine stock, we can press stop so that we don't drain our funds. Okay. That makes sense. So they're delivering it. Okay. So, yeah, we just got this quest now. Okay, so how do I get my morale up? Too low causes cracking fails. Keep your morale above 50%. When If your morale drops below 75%, your character can also get temporary debuffs or even a burnout that may cause the character to hot show up to work. All right, so how do I get it up? Maybe he just needs to go to bed. It is late in the day. All right, so let's queue up for uh, horseshoes here. We'll see what happens. He's, I guess there's still three hours left. Delivery finished. All right, so how do I get wood lumber camps? Let's get 10 lumber. Don't forget that mining is counted every hour and stops overnight. Be, sh be sure to stop mining after desired amount so you don't go into negative funds. How much money do I have? I have $22. We can definitely do a little bit of lumber. I think. 
So as we stop, okay. So we're delivering my lumber. Beautiful. All right, so I'm in, I'm in bed. So let's see if I come back with more. Yes, okay. So morale just goes down throughout the day. So how many tongs did I need? I think I need three tongs for this quest. Yes. Perfect. All right, so we're running low on iron again already. All right, so that quest is done. Oh, I got a... I got this new furniture I got to put in. That sow's run roop is upset, eh? Boo-hoo. Listen, the village is building a trench and needs some tools. Help us out, and I'll show you how to make a good spade, plus a nice work table. And I'll pay you a bit of gold, too. Won't that make little roop squeal and whine? Wait, so he wants four spades, but... Okay, I'm confused. Quest gives the spade recipe, but he wants spades. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it must be a rare spade recipe he gives. All right, so let's uh, let's build. We have bellows. So let's put that there. Get that bonus. And then some quench barrels. Does it need to go anywhere? Can we put this anywhere? I think so. I think I can put it anywhere. All right, so let's take a look at this quest. All right, let's pause for a sec. Let's, let's get some more iron. Let's just do five per hour. We'll let it build up a little bit. And then we will make four hammers. So it needs, yeah, I'm going to need more iron to make this stuff. So let's take this off. Pause. Bring up the mines menu here. So there's five there now being delivered got to be careful with this i'm not sure i'm a fan of this method of getting stuff you know what i mean i wish there was a wish there was a different way all right so sleepy time wakey time let's queue up a couple of shovels so we're gonna need them iron is being delivered do I need more lumber? I'm going to. So let's just get 10 here. Okay, stop. It's being delivered. Iron's being delivered as well, which is good because I'm pretty much out. I need one more shovel. That'll finish the old revenge quest. Rupert's not going to know what hit him. Old Greg and Rupert. They're not fans of each other. All right, so what's the treasury? Tax rate, 10%. Enora. Hello, Lachara. My name is Enora, stables overseer. I desperately need an order of horseshoes that I was supposed to receive today. The blacksmith I hired turned out to be a drunkard and didn't finish the job. Tisk tisk. Help me, and I'll speak highly of you in front of the council. An armor stand. Cool. Eight. Wow, she wants eight. Okay, what's the 75% mean? Does that mean they need to be 75% quality? Welcome to the planning part of your character. Here you can adjust crafting values using various weekly plans. Let's learn apprentice training by clicking on the icon. That will give us the desired quality boost, and this week it'll be for free. Okay. Once active, you'll see it among traits that are displayed below. So, apprentice training, yes. So it costs one per week. Now that your crafting quality is over 75%, we can deliver eight horseshoes to Enora and finish the order. Okay. Let's pause it back up. So we're, yeah, our morale's low right now, though. Well, it's getting somewhat close to quitting time. Why is it that every time I look at the time, it's 4 o'clock? Or 1600, whatever, however you want to look at it. Ooh, yeah, yep, there's, there's our crafting quality. It's actually going up, too. Oh, now it's going down. No, it's going up. And it is quitting time, I think. Oh, we made a crack. So does that mean we're going to have to do an extra one? Yeah, I've noticed it skips right to 5 a.m., so some people must get up at 5 a.m. to come to work. Right? Early bird gets the worm. Indeed. Sniff, what's that smell? It's your butt. Or my butt. Somebody's butt. 
So yeah, we're at four of eight. Maybe the overall quality needs to be 75%. Oh, we got a working table. Increases quality by 1%. Allowed quantity, one per blacksmith. Stick this in the corner. So that's even more quality. Which is good. How come... So you say, how come he's not working? I guess it's because he doesn't work when I'm in build mode. So that makes sense. There's a logic there. <laughs> Where are you going? You going fishing, buddy? Going out fishing? All right, so is that done? No, we need two more. Two more. Two more, Luch. Queue up two more. There you go. Someone was asleep at the wheel there. Ooh, we're only making... I don't know. Are these going to be high enough quality? Is she going to be happy with this recipe? Apparently she was. Okay. Liam, what's up, my man? Good day, Smith. Your walls look like they need some decoration. Oh, look at all the flags. For a good price on some things to set up for a new mine, my wife can show you how to pick out only the best tapestries. What do you say? Sure. How am I doing here? Um, I have 12 iron ore. That should be good, but I'm going to need some more iron soon. So let's uh, let's do that now. Let's get another 10. Take it off pause. Yeah, I'm at 23 gold. So my 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 money is slowly going up, which is good. Alright, so let's stop. Tens tens enough, I think. Six. Six. That's a lot of that's a lot of horseshoes. Four wheels is a lot too, to be fair. We got armor stand. Put that over by the door. Now, I don't know if I actually needed the door. Maybe I didn't. We'll see. We'll see in the, long, in the long run. I think I'm good on wood. I got iron being delivered. So I'm okay there. I cracked one of those. That's fine. I need, what, four wagon wheels? Yes. Let's start on those. Okay, it's quitting time. Payday is coming. Oh, I got to pay myself. Weekly expenses. Iron mine. Lost three and a half. Lumber camp. Lost 1.8. My workshop. Maintenance, whatever, cost 8.6. Staff training, one. I made 16. So I came out $1 ahead. <laughs> hey, it's better than $0 ahead, I guess, right? Royal Decree. Dear citizen, your craftsmanship is now officially approved. Nice. You are now obliged to pay tax to your noble majesty. That's way less nice. Which is all of your gold coins, every, which is 10%, sorry, of all your gold coins every week. Failing to do so will result in dis disciplinary actions. Savar the First, King of the Desian Kingdom. All right, Sevier, whatever you say, bud. All right, so let's get back to work in time. Okay, so there's some horseshoes. There's some wagon wheels. That'll be it for this quest. All right, so how did I bring how did I bring up that planning screen again? Belping city. Oh my god, there's a lot of things here. <laughs> I feel like I'm only scratching the surface of this game right now. Right? Like there's... Yeah. I think there's a lot in the long run. Alright, so let's put up some tapestries here. Lucy. Dear Luchara, great job so far. Now let's try to earn our investments back and get some sales going on. That'll level us up. Nice. Pickaxe recipe. Nice. Craft and sell five items. Sales. In sales menu, you can start selling items locally by wholesale or visit marketplace for resource exchanges. Click on any available item to start the sale process and set the tag for sale. Final price of the item is calculated from item quality, number of your customers, and your current fame. Demand must be met for the item to secure sale. Otherwise, you need proper charisma. To maximize profit, get more fame from quests. Makes sense. And find items that sell best and cost less materials to produce. Special items with a golden border or higher tiers. Okay. Every item sale has a chance of gaining a regular customer. All right. So what is this? Sales. Horseshoe for sale. Oh, I earned 25 gold. Nice. All right. So what do we got going on here? Great work, Blacksmith. We just sold our first item on the local market. Now we have to start selling more and more. Try it with different combinations and keep an eye on the demand in order to sell them. Good luck. Thanks, Lucy. All right, game is paused. And you know what? I think that's a good start. 
It's a good spot to stop for a first episode. I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. We'll definitely be back tomorrow with another episode. So if you enjoyed this one, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you'd like to see me try. If you just want to see more Blacksmith Legends. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.